How's it going guys? I thought I'd take a few minutes in this video to talk to you about a very important topic. If you've read the title, you know what it is. And that is on first aid training and why I think that it's a good idea for everyone to get some first aid training. Um, I'd recently taken a class in first aid. Of course, I have had uh, a few classes over the years. Uh, but my most recent one was probably just a month or so ago. Uh, I wrote an article about it on my website. I'll leave a link to that down in the description at boomsticktactical.com. And the thing is, we regularly talk about, you know, how to protect ourselves. But at the same time, we also need to know how to treat others in the event of a tragedy happening. And it does not necessarily have to be a shooting or anything like that. As you all know, I mean, anybody that has driven a car has probably seen a wreck of some sort on the side of the road. So it's a good idea to be able to know how to treat someone who has been injured or someone who has even had some type of a uh, medical issue. Uh, you know, those things have happened. I know that my wife has actually had to treat people before out in public. Uh, there was, you know, there was a gentleman that had a medical issue and uh, she just happened to be there in the store and was able to treat him. But first aid training is something that each of us should do. I know that there are a lot of qualified classes across the country. Uh, I'm sure that your first responders can get you some information about when classes are going to be happening in your area, and I would highly encourage you to take some of those classes. Um, I wanted to be able to do some video during that class, but I was not able to. Uh, I do have a couple of photos on my website, you know, nothing major, just a couple of photos that I took. And, you know, it was just a good class. In there, we went through, of course, CPR. Uh, we went through how to use an AED. Uh, we also treated gunshot and puncture wounds, which is a very good skill to have. And, of course, talked about the various types of uh, medical kits, that sort of thing. And very, very interesting class. You know, I had taken classes before over the years, but this one... Uh, a little more intense, uh, I guess you could say, on some of the things that we actually covered, and it was great. And it's all about building skills, you know. Just like you try to build your skill with a firearm, you also need to build your skills in being able to help others in need of first aid. Uh, so that's why, again, I would encourage you to check out uh, your area, talk to your first responders, find a class somewhere around you, and take class you know not everybody is uh able to handle a lot of the more gory stuff but it's a good idea for you to at least have some information on what can be done to help someone else all right you can literally save someone's life uh, but guys it's just a quick thought tonight uh, share yours do you ever take any type of first aid training let me know down in the comments below uh, let me know some of the types of training that you've had. If it's just been a standard like Red Cross or a uh, Stop the Bleed first aid training class, let me know down in the comments below. But guys, thanks for watching. And, you know, it's up to us. We've got to do what we can in multiple ways to be able to protect ourselves, to be able to help others that are in need. And, you know, we're the sheepdogs, guys. We're the ones that are out there trying to help others. We're the ones that are out there trying to do what we, what's right. But guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.